and welcome to a new episode on One on One. I'm sitting right next to the very pretty, talented actress Mumbi, all the way from Kenya. But we're going to be asking her questions about her life and her life as an entertainer. Well, stay tuned and don't touch that dial. All right, guys. So our first question is: Let's meet you. <laughs> Hi. <Hello. laughs> Hi. Well. Um, I'm an actress, okay. as you've already said. It's pretty much the one thing that I love to do more than anything else. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was someone who was always running around doing one million other jobs okay. until I found this one. It's like I was lost and I found home, okay. you know? <laughs> so yeah, it's my passion. Um, I love dancing mm -hmm. as well, weirdly enough. So I'm just a little thespian in my heart. Okay. Okay. That's, <laughs> yeah. That's very fascinating. <laughs> so how long have you been acting? I've been acting for four years now. Okay. Seriously, that is. Okay. Um, I was working in the corporate world before mm -hmm. and I decided to just cut ties and follow my dreams. Oh. Alright, per perfect. Why, okay, you said it was your dream to work as an actress, mm -hmm. but what were the challenges working a not regular 9 to 5 job? Boredom. <laughs> <laughs> Boredom. I mean, it's just everything was very monotonous, mm -hmm. and that was very frustrating for me. I was always my bosses used to laugh at me because if they had always rebelling one way or the other, either my hair would be like a Spice Girl one day, or I'd have like green nail polish. <laughs> I was just that person. I was always off, just uh -huh. a little. <laughs> but the truth is, I just wanted to get my creative juices flowing. Okay. Yeah. Well, definitely. So, how did your parents feel? Were they supportive of you wanting to take entertainment as a first choice in career? Truth is, first they were surprised, mm -hmm. but very very supportive once they understood what the career actually entails mm -hmm. and what my vision was. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've received a lot of support. Definitely. Yeah. So tell us, what is the movie industry in Kenya like? I, I can only speak from experience okay. and I came in at the right time. Right. Um, just when they passed a law that only um, a minimum of 60% mm -hmm. of uh, content has to be local. So that upped um, the kind of content that was on television and it just boosted our industry epically. So I, get, I got in at the right time and clearly uh, it's been going, it's been peaking. Yeah. Definitely, that's fair. Yeah. But um, tell us, do you see yourself working or acting in a Nigerian sitcom movie? Oh, hell, hell yeah. Am I allowed to say hell? Yeah, on TV. I really do. I mean, it's the epitome of um, the industry, I mean, of, of acting in Africa, according, at least according to me, it really is, you know. Um, you guys have reached levels that a lot of people are just trying to barely scrape in regards to the industry. So yes, I would most definitely love to. Definitely. Well, we'll yeah. love to have you. Yay, <laughs> I'm ready. So tell us, is there any male or female artist in the Nigerian movie scene that you like to work with, you admire? Uh, I hope I don't seem like a stalker, but I'm just going to say Ramsey Noah is one of them. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to One on One with the very pretty, talented actress all the way from Kenya, Mumbi. Well, you're right on time because I'm going right back to chat with her and ask her some questions. So moving forward, ma'am, let's mm -hmm. talk about you. Mm. Tell us about what you look forward to when you get movie scripts. Is there any particular order or any particular thing you look forward to when getting scripts? Well, first and foremost, of course, my character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has to speak to me. Yes, definitely. Uh, she just has to tap something in me that either I've experienced, mm -hmm. I know someone who's experienced, or I would like to experience. Mm -hmm. And if I don't get that connection, then I'll just rather let it go. Yeah. Well, you sound pretty professional. I try. <laughs> it comes and goes. <laughs> so tell us, um, is there any role you will turn down? Wow. Um, I guess it still just depends on the storyline mm -hmm. of the entire story. And, and true enough, just like I said, if it doesn't speak to me, if I don't feel it's a challenge, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. If it's not a challenge to me, then there's no point, you know? Yeah, I think every actor feels that way because it gets monotonous doing mm -hmm. one thing, especially if it's over a long period of time mm -hmm. and it's just something that's not touching you at all, then yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's see. Would you see yourself, do you see yourself producing movies in the long run? I do. In fact, um, I've just produced a pilot in Kenya. Oh, wow. um, we're still in the beginning stages, okay. but we're hoping to do bigger things. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hopefully, I'm looking forward to that one. You guys <laughs> definitely should look forward to that one too. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about the movie industry in a whole. Mm. Do you see any challenges? Do you think there are any challenges the movie industry faces? 
Yes, um, I think it's a challenge that goes all around. And as for, well, for some countries, especially in Africa, sometimes there's support from the government that they don't have. Um, sometimes it's support from their own fellow um, I was going to say in Swahili, it's Wanainchi, you know, fellow people, you know. Um, and I guess it's just basically breaking through and creating stories that um, people from even outside Africa can understand. And um, I think that's one of our biggest challenges, you know, breaking through to Hollywood and not just giving stereotype movies and stories about kids with flies on their face and that's portrayed as Africa, Africa full stop, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so I think those are one of our biggest challenges, penetrating um, bigger markets mm -hmm. and showing Africa as it is, mm -hmm. you know, in all its glory. Well, yeah. she's such a smart lady. I can't help but get lost in all she's talking about. I can totally relate to her talks about what she sees in the African movie industry. Well, let's go forward. Let's talk about where you see yourself in five years. Ooh. In five years, I do hope to have dominated the industry in one way or the other. Amen. <laughs> Amen to that. I hope that I've, um, you know, I'll have portrayed a positive influence, especially mm -hmm. to, you know, the challenge that, for instance, we talked about earlier, where you grow up, at least we grew up in Kenya, knowing that from a certain age, you can't be a star. I mean, you can't say that, oh, I, I, when I grow up, I want to be an actress. They'll say, yeah, maybe you want to be a pilot or you want to be a doctor, you want to be, you know, something else because that's more tangible and you'll get your returns. And my, one of my biggest visions is to be able to create an industry mm -hmm. that allows people to make a good amount of money, mm -hmm. a good income at least, yeah, or, you know, basically have enough in their life to be able to call it a career mm -hmm. and not be asked, you act and, <laughs> which is my, <laughs> it's the worst question, I, you know, that I usually get. Um, so I guess for me, I just hope that there's going to be progress with whatever work that I've done in the next five years. Yeah. Well, with her passion and her zeal, I don't see her stopping anytime soon. And I see all her dreams materializing. Amen. Well, thank you for sitting down with us on One on One. It was such a wonderful time chatting with you. Thank you for and having me. And you guys should stay tuned. Alright guys, it was such an awesome time sitting down with this not only pretty lady, but she's such a brain box as well. Well, with her talent and her passion, I don't see her slowing down anytime soon and I see her dominating Africa's entertainment scene. Well, thank you for sitting down with us and I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Alright guys, make sure you keep watching Tribe TV. I'm your host, your girl Asari Duke and don't go anywhere.